This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Today, we are gonna make any logo look 3D using Apple Motion. Also, if you are a patron, you can actually download a plugin for this effect to apply it in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually just jump on over to elements.envato.com and we're gonna download a free logo so you can completely follow along. There will be a link in the description. So if you come on down here to the Palma Premium logo, it's on the front page. As of right now, it could change, so. Hopefully it's still there, but I'm gonna try and have a link to it. Go ahead, push download, and apply it to the project that you want to download it for. Then all we are going to do is open up Motion, and if you don't get the project browser, you can of course push Command, Option, and N. Go ahead, select the Motion project, and push Open. We're gonna push Command, I, and we will jump on over into the folder that has our downloaded files. And we will look up the PNG here, and push Import. From there, go ahead, select your logo, and this is where the three 3D magic happens. Select your logo, go up to filters, go up to stylize, and go down to extrude. So you can now see that our logo has this really nice extruded object behind it. And what's cool is you have these on-screen controls to really easily manage this around. You could actually animate this to change almost the 3D dimension of your logo or something along those lines. That's basically how you make it 3D. But there are a ton of options to work with that I want to showcase to the best of their ability. But real quick, Envato Elements is changing the game with their incredible subscription service. They offer unlimited access to over 55 million assets. I don't know if you realize how large of a number that is. It is ginormous. They offer fonts, photos, stock footage, music, sound effects, WordPress themes, Final Cut Pro, and Motion 5 templates. They offer a super simple license and your license still counts even after your subscription has ended. If you follow the link in the description, you will get 50% off when selecting the annual subscription. Do yourself a favor, my friends, level up your video editing library and get Envato Elements today. So go ahead, go into the inspector of motion and you will find that you've got your angle option here. So you can just drag that around all you need. You have the distance option, which is unfortunately only able to go out to 500. So just keep that in mind. You have your clipping option. Now I really think clipping is cool. So if you drag this down, you can almost see the logo animate out. It like it extrudes it out and then it hits the middle point and then it shrinks down the backside. So you can do some really, really cool looking animations. Then you have the back size option. So we can actually shrink down the back. It's almost bringing in more perspective into the shot. Then you have the face brightness. So the face is the very front most face of your object. So if you drag that down to zero, you can see it's completely black. Now you'll see there's this front brightness. The front brightness is the area directly behind the face. So you can see these pixels here. If I bring down the front brightness and bring up the face brightness, you can see how directly behind the logo is darkened. And then there is the back brightness, so we can actually brighten up the very back of the gradient. Or if you want it to just go into nothingness, you can totally do that and you could bring up your front brightness. Then we get into the extrude style. So right now it's set to shading. Now, unfortunately this particular logo is not gonna show it off very well, but really quick, let me just set up something so we can show it. So I have this crazy checkerboard thing going on here and you'll see it's currently set to shading. And what shading is going to do is it's going to sample the pixels at the edge here to decide the color that it sends off into the distance. So in the white areas, it's extending it out to the white, the black is black. If I change this over to gradient, you'll see that now it's just a difference of white and black. So if I change the color on this gradient to something like green and pink, rather than choosing from the edge of the image, it's just going to give it its own color. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you may also really enjoy this tutorial about morphing text in Apple Motion. 